Hey Virgos, welcome to your love reading mid-August through the end of August, love life reading for singles and couples. Thank you so much for joining, for watching, for sticking around, for liking, comments, and subscribes, sending me messages, and those that have booked personal readings. I so appreciate you guys. Let's get started. We got singles for mid-August through the end of August. If you haven't checked out my other readings, please check out my channel. If this resonates, maybe it doesn't. Maybe the general does. Check it out. Okay, let's see. Love life readings for single Virgos. Like straight up single, ain't got nothing going on in your life. Straight up singles. Let's find out what's coming soon, what's blocking you. What can single Virgos expect mid to end of August? Single Virgos. What's going on with single Virgos? Two flipped over. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and vis visualizations. <laughs> I always have a hard time with that. Help, you bring, help bring you together. So... If you've been single for a while and you've been wondering where the heck is my soulmate, why hasn't he come around, wondering where the heck is this guy, where the heck is this girl, I'm trying to manifest the love of my life, the key here is to love yourself first. Are you carrying any energy from the past? Are you still talking to any exes? Are you still thinking about how things went wrong in past relationships? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you loving yourself, respecting yourself, setting up safe and healthy boundaries? All that matters when you're looking for your soulmate, when you're calling him in. What is going on? Where is my soulmate? Well, girl, when you're good or, you know, my guy, my guy Virgo's out there, when you're in a good place and you're ready to welcome in your soulmate is when he'll appear or she'll appear. So here we go. Love yourself first. Why did Virgo singles get love yourself first? What is going on with Virgo singles? Mm -hmm. Because you are trying to manifest. <laughs> you are trying to manifest that soulmate to come back into the picture or just to come in. For some of you, coming back. You might not be with them anymore. But you felt that they were your soulmate. You're at, they're at a distance because that was a slip. A slip of the tongue that came out. So for some of you, that's what's going on. But there are a handful of you also, or quite a few of you, who have been single for quite some time. And you've probably put up with a lot of shitty, a lot of shitty behavior from other people. And every time you come into contact with someone new, every time you start seeing someone new, you think, let's see where this goes. They make you feel really good in the beginning and then before you know it, they turn into be assholes, right? Or these women. Okay, so here's what I got. Why you've been single? Love yourself first. If you had, self, if you had healthy boundaries set up, you wouldn't allow these guys to come in. I say guys because this is the king of swords. Because this is a general reading, it can go either way. So vice versa. Doesn't have to be male. I'm just saying that because I've got the five of swords and the king of swords here. So if you see a pattern of relationships that turn into sex only relationships, they come and go and all they're seeking is sex, you're obviously not setting up boundaries. They make you feel like this can go somewhere. You start thinking that maybe we can manifest something in towards the future. We can move away from these energies of just sex only relationships and then you feel so loved and appreciated. They pay so much attention to you until they get you in the bedroom, you guys have sex and then it goes nowhere. So if you see this pattern in your recent love life, dating life, know that as long as you are entertaining these sex-only relationships, your soulmate will not be coming in because you need to put this behind you. There is no self-respect here. 
no matter how cool you think you might be with it's it's all good we have an understanding yeah but as long as you as long as you are entertaining sex only relationships you are blocking yourself you're blocking your soulmate from coming in you are blocking new beginnings with someone so when you have a choice of whether or not to choose between your soulmate or whatever comes your way that most times block your abundance hurt your self-confidence hurt your self-esteem you there's a few Virgos here that don't want to admit that what I'm saying is relevant to them that does they think it's you know you can get by with saying it doesn't resonate you want to pretend that it doesn't but it's okay you don't have to tell me it does just admit it to yourself that's the most important thing admit to yourself that this has been a pattern for some, not all. I'm not accusing all Virgos of this happening, right? I'm a Virgo too. But for some, this has this type of relationship in your past, this type of energy that you've been carrying has affected you. And maybe you've taken a break from seeing Pete, from seeing anybody. You've been single for quite some time. And so you kind of just want to, once, I, once I've brought this up, it kind of made sense. And you just kind of want to put it behind you. You don't want to accept responsibility. And now it's time to say, you know what? I do want this soulmate. I do want this soulmate. I don't want the sex only relationship. I want love. I want a new beginning. And the next time I'm given a choice between sex only, bending those boundaries of what I feel is right and what isn't, or a relationship that's going to make me feel absolutely loved and appreciated and cared for, the next time I come at that crossroads, what are you going to do? If you continue to entertain this, without loving yourself first, without setting up healthy boundaries, without having some self-respect, without putting your foot down that, hey, you know, because maybe you really like them and maybe they really like you, but they're not really entertaining. <laughs> I'm going to show you these in just a minute. Maybe they're not really entertaining anything more than just casual dating, casual sex. But I have to tell you that you need to say, hey, you know what? I don't want this to be casual anymore if that's what you want. I don't want this to be casual anymore. I really want something more meaningful and committed. I really want something more meaningful and committed. <laughs> Maybe we should try taking this to the next level if that's what you want, Virgo. Maybe it's been someone that you don't you rarely see. You maybe just hook up from time to time. But you still think about them even when you meet other people. And then you can gauge whether or not there is an opportunity to take this to another level. Right? Because I feel that this is you thinking, can this be more than something casual? Can they be my soulmate? You've got blinders on. So really think about what you want to manifest for your future. Are they comfortable with seeing other people and hooking up from time to time? And are you? Is that all it's meant to be? At what point do you end that and really seek the relationship that you want? Tell me about this soulmate. <laughs> this does not surprise me. King of Cups always comes out for Virgo. Tell me about this soulmate. Well... They're keeping their emotions intact and they're not letting you in. So you're not really 100% sure about how they feel about you. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I say this, that for some of you or most of you, it is a water sign or they have water in their chart. Sun, moon, rising. I usually don't expand beyond sun, moon, rising for those wondering. Sometimes Venus when I do a love reading. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have King and Page. So maybe right now having this sex only relationship, this casual dating relationships with this water sign, you really need a king and not a page because when they're casual and they see all the nice things and then you see them every once every couple months and you're like, no, 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 that's not what I want. I want something more meaningful, more committed. So do we give this another shot? 
and make it more official? Or do we go our separate ways? Because I'm thinking about the future and I don't know what you're thinking about, but I'm thinking about the future. How do we move past being single for Virgos? Ten of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. You got to do the work, girlfriend. You've got to do the work. If you are not speaking what you want, if you are not sharing, if you're not communicating that you really deep down want this Ten of Cups happily ever after, right? A happy home life, emotionally content and stable. You are willing to put the work into this, but are they? Are they? And that's what you need to make known. It's going to take a lot of strength from you. And Virgos, you're resilient. You have the strength. And to be honest, I know a lot of Virgos that aren't, it's not just about strength, it's about being blunt and straight up. And they're just going to be like, you know what? This, this, this has been fun and all, but where do we go from here? Because if you're not interested in anything more than what's going on now, then peace. I'm about to step out. I'm going to do what I need to do, right? And then you move on to the next one. And then you still think about this one while you're moving on to the next one. So before you move on to the next one, really, truly decide if this is what you want. You want to work on something with this person? Do you accept that they aren't ready? And you got miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. So for my single Virgos who may already know who this soulmate partner is that they've been trying to call in, You've been very focused on them. They've been on the back of your mind. You still feel as though they're your soulmate. For many of you, they are. And so the angels are saying, believe, believe, bless, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. So maybe this time apart, maybe this time of being casual, maybe this time of we haven't seen each other in months and I'm going to start seeing other people. Or maybe they start seeing other people or you're both seeing other people. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise, right? Because part of you feels as though I really feel like they're my soulmate. Remember, this is general reading. Could go vice versa. But they're seeing other people. Why would my soulmate see other people? And so then you go through this phase of sadness and rejection because you have it in your mind that it should only be the two of you and no one else should be in the middle. No one else should be present here. So there's a sense of feeling attached because you do feel as though this person is your soulmate, could be your soulmate. And you're overwhelmed by all this sadness. I feel as though some of you have already been going through this phase of trying to clear this energy and it's taken you a while, Mercury Retrograde brought this up, and it's taken you a while to finally see that you're deserving. You're deserving of everything you want. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, single Virgos, you want to call in that soulmate? You want them to stick around? You want this to be more than casual? Maybe this is someone from your past. Maybe you're done with the person from your past and you're ready for something absolutely new. I don't blame you. You will have someone new come in, possibly a water sign, giving you an offer of love, letting you know that they're interested in you. I do feel as though you've got some admirers, Virgo. You have quite a few admirers. You've got pages, you've got knights, and you have kings. So take your pick once they make themselves known. Know exactly what it is that you want before you move forward. So that was your reading for single Virgos. I hope this resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if this resonates. I'm going to get started with our couples, couples and married and you in-betweeners out there that are in between relationships, perhaps just recently separated. Maybe you're taking a break from each other. You're not quite sure where this is going. This reading is for you, Virgo. 
and probably all you cross watchers out there that are probably seeing what's going on with Virgo. How does she feel about me? Guess what? Those readings are coming up soon. I'm going to do cross watcher videos. I know I haven't announced it in all my other readings. I don't like to bog you guys down with a ton of announcements. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I make the majority of the announcements there. So you keep posted on when I'm going to do live readings, when I have big things coming. Virgo season will bring lots of gifts to you guys. That's just a hint. So please follow me on Instagram if you want to know what's coming up next. So what do we have for Virgo couples? Virgo couples, married, dating, in-betweeners. In-betweeners are those that are probably dating more than one person. Probably recently broke up with someone. Probably recently broke up with someone and not sure if you should go back together with them or not. So it's like you're single and yet attached as well. So romantic feelings and true love. All right, nice. And it is safe for you to love. Again, like I was feeling earlier, I do feel as though some of you single Virgos are going to have someone come in. I'm feeling it. You have someone new coming in. Let's see who this new person's coming in. Is it someone from your past? Is it a current person that you're dealing with? You've got some really strong feelings. You, you feel an attachment to them. They're worth exploring. They're worth getting to know someone finally who is worth your time because Virgos can be quite picky and guarded as well. And once they let their guard down, FYI for you cross watchers, once they let their guard down, how they treat you, how they love you, how they feel about you is beyond words is all I will say. Not just saying that because I'm a Virgo. I have Virgo friends that are also, have also said that. Of course, you fuck them over. Good luck getting back into their good graces. <laughs> they go from one extreme to another. Right, Virgos? Let's see. Romantic feelings, true love, and it is safe for you to love. So... Some of you that just started dating someone and you're just like, I don't know if I want to start a new relationship. I just, you know, the last one was really bad. What if this doesn't work out? How about you stop? <laughs> How about you stop fearing which path you're going to take and you just go for it? True love. A lot of you are already with that true love. And you've got romantic feelings for some of you in-betweeners who probably haven't been able to let go. Couples, married, and in-betweeners. All right, let's go. Romantic feelings. Tell me about these romantic feelings. Too many cards, but I will show them to you. Queen of Cups, again with the water sign. <laughs> Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and Justice. So... If you have been, first of all, some of you might be working like, or might be offered like a government job, government, legal, political, somewhere along the lines, like a government job. I see legal, government, county, state, federal type jobs. If someone has been waiting for a job offer, I do feel as though someone is going to be given something like that. And if you aren't sure about taking it or not, you might be all up in the feels about whether or not you want to go that route. Even though you applied for it, you're still having second thoughts about whether or not you should take this. I have a feeling like you were expecting a little bit more than what comes in. But you've got this big, huge pinnacle. And I feel as though maybe you're going into something blindly. You got two cards with blindfolds here. It gets your emotions going. This could also be for some of you that are dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Who may be someone you're dealing with at work. Maybe, <clears throat> excuse me. Huh. <laughs> 
you're dealing with someone at work and you can't speak about it. It's kind of like on the down low because my voice just disappeared. My throat closed up. You know that this is a secret relationship. You shouldn't be telling anybody. You want to do what's right. You want to focus on work, but you've got this other love relationship aspect to it. So if you're trying to dabble in a forbidden relationship at work, be careful. You don't know where it might take you just yet. So tell me about romantic feelings. You have romantic feelings, but Virgo, you're not sure where they're going to lead you. Again, I feel as though you may still have a bit of, oh, look at that. You may still have a bit of a connection with someone from your past. Here's what I'm feeling, Virgo. If there is someone who is just not a good fit for you, not a good match for you in the past, someone that you are no longer with, no longer seeing, but they still kind of linger within your energy. You keep in touch. You see each other from time to time like bumping into each other or if it's work-related or whatever. You feel as though you want to push them away, but every time they come back and act like everything's cool, you contemplate what exactly do they want? Are they trying to get back in my good graces? Are they trying to stir something up? So when it comes to a new relationship, you almost feel as though your last relationship is still lingering because they are. They are lingering. You may not be, you know, together with them again, but that energy is still there. It still crosses your mind. And so part of you wants to be very defensive and push them away. But at the same time, another part of you is standing their ground. You're standing your ground saying, what do you want? Are you trying to get back in? Are you trying to get back together with me? Are you just going to come in and leave just as quickly as you came back in? And you need to speak your truth. You need to take on this king of swords energy where you're just like, uh-uh, be defensive and stand up for yourself. And if there is a love interest that you're already dating or seeing and you feel almost as though you can't move forward with them, it is safe for you to love. You're not feeling as though it's safe for you to love because maybe you're thinking that your ex was your true love. You're waiting for them to come back in. And so you're dating someone new. The ex is still lingering. They still contact you, communicate. They're still there. You may not talk to them on a daily, but their energy is still there. They say or do things that remind you of what it was like when you were together. You're wondering, are they ever going to come back? Because I really felt like they were my true love. While you're dating someone else and this new person... This new person has no idea. Look at it. It's safe for you to love. Look at this picture. She's on her high horse, like a Virgo should. <laughs> She's on her high horse, looking towards the future. Wants to move forward. Wants to take action. But at the same time, is afraid of opening up to someone new because that means she'll have feelings for someone new when she's not completely over what has been lingering here. I feel a part of you has been realistically saying, I'm over them, I'm moving, I'm moving on, I'm moving on with my life, which is why you started seeing someone new. And you might actually believe that. But if this romantic feelings, energies from the past weren't lingering, you wouldn't be worried about moving forward. And so now you feel as though you can't choose between the two. But I'm telling you and the angels are telling you, the message I am getting is that it is safe for you to love. So how do you know what can manifest from this new love, if you're still thinking about the past, how can you move forward? It is safe for you to love. 
explore find yourself is this the person for you maybe you don't need to choose <laughs> maybe you don't need to choose between paths right now but you should not close yourself off to this new love because if you do and then you realize that this person had no intention of getting back with you you'll have this missed opportunity so really really find your truth get to know yourself on a deeper level ask yourself what you really want and don't be afraid to fight for this new love true love could be with another water sign does not have to be the same water sign you might have two water signs coming in you might have three water signs actually pisces cancer scorpio so tell me about this true love it is safe for you to love and open up that path to allow new love to come in it is and it's time that page of cups just tried to peek out I'm telling you you got pages knights and kings you have admirers that are about to let themselves known and for those that are dating single and dating right dating quite a few people looking for that one true love you have romantic feelings for someone from your past you also have romantic feelings for someone in your present but when we think about your future, you're blocking yourself the longer you hold on to past energies. This true love that's going to come in has been admiring you for some time, possibly a Scorpio. This is the Scorpio card. Does not have to be, but I do get the sense of water here. A lot of water. They've been admiring you for some time. They want to... They want to give you this happy home life, this togetherness. They want to move on to bigger and better, build something much more powerful, and they're going to come rushing in. You're going to get a text, an email, message. It may or may not be someone from your past, although I do have a feeling that this is someone that you've known for some time. I'm going to clarify a little bit more here with another deck. I do feel that someone has a water sign here that's coming in from the past. Could have been friendships. Doesn't mean you had a relationship with them in the past, but this is someone who's going to be, who's going to tell you straight up, you know what? I think about you all the time. I often wonder why things didn't move forward with us in the past. They've been admiring you for a very long time. They want to they want to share with you a life together, move things forward. However, <laughs> four major arcanas as I try to clarify. So, if you have been waiting for someone to come in who wants the same thing as you, something more traditional, you've been thinking of moving yourself away from the toxic energy. You know that you need to heal. The universe is saying, guess what? We're, if you haven't gone through this just yet, Virgo, I'm gonna send you a hug. I'm gonna send you lots of love. If you have not gone through this just yet, Virgo, Look at this pattern. You finally came to terms with what it is that you really want. You want something much more committed, much more traditional. You're tired of this sex only thing. You're tired of the casual dating. You finally have accepted that things need to change. None of this energy from the past. You want to move forward. Whether you're ready or not, the universe is catapulting you. But before you go through the healing, what needs to happen? You need to release yourself from this toxic energy, from the attachments. You feel very tight and bound, whether it's to someone that you're currently seeing, that you're trying to release yourself from, 
or it's someone from your past that's affecting your current relationship. And so this tells a very telling story. You finally realized you want something traditional. What's been going on in your love life at the present moment or in the past is just not, it's just not for you anymore. People change, people grow, and that's awesome. You're growing, you're coming to, you're coming into your own. You want nothing more but to move forward. One end of a life cycle moves you into another one. Whether you're ready for it or not, this is an end to a life cycle. Before you can move on past this healing and hope for a new relationship, for this true love, the universe is pushing you right through. You're going to have to feel the pain, the sadness, the hurt, everything that you felt from that toxic relationship. You're going to have to feel it. And if Mercury retrograde didn't already bring that shit up, let me tell you, it is about to come in. And you need to allow yourself to feel it in order to release it. Heal yourself. This is the ultimate card of healing. And she's looking towards the devil saying, I'm putting you behind me. I'm healing. No more of this shit. I know what I want. I'm releasing myself from these ties, from this toxic energy, from these negative emotions. I'm releasing myself from that energy from the past that made me feel as though I wasn't good enough. That made me feel as though I didn't know what was going on in my own relationship, in my own marriage, in my own partnership. So these flipped out. I'm not going to take them, but I am going to show them to you because I feel as though this could be a message for someone. For someone who suspected that there was a third party situation, three people in your relationship, and you were feeling as though this was such a burden to you. And you felt, you know what? I'm better off single than dealing with this heaviness, this energy. I feel like you're hiding something from me. I know my own truth. I know that I am worth more than this third party situation and I'm not afraid to put it behind me. Guess what? That's devil energy right there that you're willing to face and move away from. And move away from, right? So there's your story. What do you need to do? Well, if you have recently realized that you wanted something more traditional, not something casual, or maybe you were seeing a Taurus. You wanted to move away from that energy and that energy from the past or present relationship, dating, attachment, you knew was unhealthy. You knew it was toxic. And before you can heal and move forward, you need to face that energy. Because if you don't face that energy, that cycle continues. You will find that you are much stronger than you thought you were. And so the cycle repeats itself until you learn from it and you cut out this player from your life. You say, uh-uh, no, I'm done. I'm done. How many more times does the universe have to put me through this? Zero more times. That's it. I'm done. All you want to do is come in and come out. You come in with this page energy. You come in with this night energy. You want to make an offer that you can't even follow through. You come in and we have sex. You say all these nice things and you leave. And then they leave you wondering. Then they leave you attached. Then they leave you feeling like you're at a low point. Like where do we go from here? So... How do we heal from this? How do we release ourselves from this? Right, Virgo? How do we release ourselves from this energy so that we can feel as though we are, it is safe for you to love, right? Because if you're contemplating this current relationship or this past relationship, but you're not feeling safe in that relationship, there is doubt, there is insecurity, there is mistrust if you don't think you can trust them what are you thinking about 
how are you thinking of moving forward if you can't trust them? So, all right, how can Virgo heal from this and move forward so that they know it is safe for them to love? Okay, well, there is temptation here. So how can you heal and move forward? Resist the temptation of going back to this sex-only relationship. Resist the temptation. Let me have one more for those that don't resonate with that temptation card. Because I feel as though not all of you resonate with the temptation of an ex coming back and making themselves known. Right? Others of you have other issues from your past. Perhaps childhood. Perhaps your parents' marriage that essentially created that example for what a marriage, partnership, love life should be like. And so you kind of go through that energy feeling like, well, that was the only example I had my whole life. And so you think that maybe there's, that's normal. That's what everybody's relationship is like. And so for those not dealing with that, what you need to do is seek help from above. Meditate. Talk to your angels. Talk to your guides. Don't be afraid to open up to them. Whether you speak out loud or say it in meditation, think it. Put all of your energy. Sit there, lay there with your eyes closed. Envision yourself pulling in all your energy and releasing it to your angels, asking for asking for healing in return. So here we go. Love Oracle to close out this reading for Virgo couples. There we go. They're going a little all over the place, Virgo couples. This is... There are some decks that no matter how much I shuffle, no matter how much I try to break in, I still get cards that stick together. Here we go. All right, finally, Virgo couples. Let me have a love oracle. <laughs> Jesus, so many energies. Three cards, and they came out like this, so I'm going to take all three. They were not stuck together. That's how they came out. So, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Didn't I just get that? For you singles <laughs> be supportive make a genuine effort to show you care slow down when you are excited you get ahead of yourself take some time to allow things to unfold so for those having romantic feelings for someone wondering whether or not it is safe for you to love and then when you finally feel like you can break free from the past you want to rush into something but take your time slow down just take your time, slow down, be genuine and supportive of your own healing as well as whatever your partner or ex-partner is opening up to you, whatever it is they may be sharing with you, why things ended up the way they did, because that's part of their healing as well, forgiving and healing it's a process, right? It's how, it's how you're able to move forward and open yourself up to the abundance the universe is trying to send to you. So that was your reading, Virgo, singles and couples. Thank you so much. I absolutely appreciate everyone's time and effort in leaving me comments, sending me messages. For those of you that booked uh, readings, I absolutely appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. I cannot thank you guys enough for all your support. And so stick around. We've got Virgo season for my Virgos. Big Virgo announcement, right? If you're not already following me on Instagram. Now, Virgos, you're the only ones I have announced this so far, or I'm about to, because I didn't do it in my other readings. Virgos, as we enter Virgo season, I will have lots of great things coming for you on Instagram if you're not already following me there. I will also have a Virgo season reading for all signs I'll be posting up next week as we go into Virgo season and because I am a Virgo too, I will be giving away free readings to certain people. If you are following me on Instagram and subscribed on my YouTube, I will have a post that will be up on Instagram for all of you to enter and I will be giving away free readings. I also would like to give away little gifts as well 
No, I'm not trying to be like Oprah and her favorite things, but this is just my way of showing gratitude. And those that follow me on Instagram know that, that those are words. That is how I live by appreciation and gratitude. I can never express to you guys how thankful I am for all of your support, for those that donated, for those that kept me busy last month. It is absolutely appreciated. Like the only way I can think of thanking all of you is by doing something for you. And that's going to be free reading giveaways. And I'm going to get a couple of gifts as much as I can to give those out in honor of my birthday. <laughs> I'll be giving to you for my birthday. Okay, guys. So take care. Thank you so much. If you're not already um, subscribed, if you resonated uh, with this reading, please give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Find me on Instagram at Virgo Angel Tarot. Uh, and again, I'll have more readings coming soon. Take care, Virgo. Bye.